So you want to build a big back and you've been trying multiple exercises that doesn't really feel great, it doesn't really work well, you don't know if you're doing it correctly or not. And you want to improve the aesthetics of your back because having a big back makes you look more attractive. You want to learn how to build that aesthetic back where your lats look wider than your hips and makes you have that V taper shape. Or maybe you just want that demon back that everyone has been talking about on the internet. If you finish watching this entire video, I'll explain to you how to properly build the aesthetic back instead of having that wide back that looks pretty disgusting. You learn how to build that V taper back that makes your hip look smaller. If you want to follow along with the exercises in this video instead of just going out and looking for the exercises for yourself, I've linked the document in the description below. I usually start all my workout with some specific type of strength exercise, whether it's squat, deadlift, or bench. But in this video, I didn't include it because I wasn't feeling too great. I usually do like 365 for like 5 reps, but I couldn't even get 315 for 5 reps today. But deadlifting is a great way to improve your lower back. I see a lot of people neglecting deadlifting because they only think of it as like a strength exercise, but it's good for hypertrophy as well if you want to build that aesthetic lower back. The first exercise I like to do for hypertrophy is lat put downs. The type of grip you have on the bar matters so much. I used to use the regular attachment bar for lat put downs, but I switched to using this type of attachment bar because it allows me to keep pushing my back for more reps while having a good grip on the bar. And plus, my forearms don't give out as fast as it does with the regular attachment bar. A lot of people will want to stay away from lifting heavy, and I hope that's not you, bro, because they want to be as optimal as possible. Yeah, sure, you can do that and stay small or lift some heavy ass weight and get that wide back. Now, I'm not advising you to use heavy weights if it means that your form is going to be terrible. After I'm done with my lap put downs, I like to go ahead and do reverse lap put downs because you can literally pull like 10 times more weight since you're incorporating your bicep as well. So in the workout program in the description, you'll see that I put the bicep and back on the same day. This is because when you do most movements that targets the back, you're most likely incorporating your bicep, just like all your chest needs the tricep in order to get work done on it. The next exercise I do is some sort of row motion, whether it's a T-bar row, a barbell row, a dumbbell row, or a cable row. The row motion is the best to develop that thickness in your back, so make sure you don't neglect it. Make sure you aren't swinging back and forth like a retard, and actually make sure you can move the weight back and forth without involving your lower back, because the point of the exercise is to build your lats, not your lower back. After you're done with that, you should see some massive pump in your back. Go take a look at the mirror, bro. The last exercise we're going to do is for the traps. As you can clearly see, I don't do a lot of exercise for the back because you don't need a lot of volume for your back to look aesthetic. Just a couple of exercises. When training traps, make sure you're lifting heavy as fuck. Well, this is relative to your strength level, of course. The reason to go heavy is that traps require a huge amount of stress done in it to see growth. Either you're doing like 50 reps or going heavy as fuck because that amount of stress will make your traps grow. I see a lot of fitness influencers telling you to slowly contract it, but what I found is that no matter how you do it, your traps will still get stress done on it if you're going fast or slow. It doesn't really matter to be honest. Well, just do it in the way where your form looks correct at least. 